Hi everyone, I um, just wanted to share some information that I came across and I think is very important. It's in regards to vitamin D and for the longest time, you know, I myself, everyone's been touting how vitamin D is so significant and that has not changed. Very important to take. But I came across an article by Dr. Marcola and um, which kind of like made me think. Um, so I actually ironically did have uh, vitamin K, uh, K2, vitamin K. Um, it, on my shelf and I recall purchasing it just because I heard about how great it is but it turns out that in com combination with vitamin D and K2 together that's the best way to um, not only prevent you know other issues like osteoporosis but more importantly also with the system with PCOS so I'm just gonna read off of uh, the screen that I have here basically saying that um, vitamin D um, you know kind of is the gatekeeper essentially you know it takes a calcium to your skeleton but vitamin K is kind of like the way he said it quote unquote as a traffic cop directing for you know where the calcium should be deposited so according to Dr. Mercola I'll be you know attaching the link um, it says that the vitamin K with the help without the help of vitamin K2 that I have here um, the calcium that your vitamin D um, may not be being directed into the right places and um, it's say, apparently according to him there's evidence that um, the safety of safety he says of vitamin D is very much dependent on your intake of vitamin K and um, so and he says that even if like if it's, there's any toxicity of uh, because of vitamin D um, it is because there's a K2 deficiency okay so he's said a lot of things in the article which I will post now when it comes to toxicity of vitamin D um, a lot of people are actually vitamin D deficient especially if you're living in the West and there's not a lot of sunshine and so forth you are obviously going to be deficient in my opinion um, but always get your vitamin D's checked but if you're trying to avoid toxicity then combine uh, the K vitamin but regardless combine it for the best outcome according to what he's saying again do your own research you know but I will be definitely combining the two when I take the vitamin D um, supplementation now vitamin D K2 combination whatever, whatever you choose to do is your own you know um, uh, let's say uh, option but um, vitamin D I cannot tout enough um, of is that it is very essential for um, PCOS I had uploaded a video a while back and I did speak about how I've you know did my travels and when I was exposed to sunlight because where I live it's the sunlight is very minimal um, so when I was exposed to sunlight how my menstruation started um, how it became regular how heat uh, you know also assisted you know having my feet warm all those things had a, had an impact and I you know um, diet was there but it was more about the vitamin D exposure which was amazing so we live in areas where you can go and get exposed nat through natural light do so but now we have other issues with ozone layer and also cancer and all that stuff so a lot of us are intaking vitamin D combining it with, it with K2 is going to be the most be bene beneficial option again there's some controversy over this but I'm thinking this be, you know for according to what he cited it makes sense so if you're taking vitamin D I would say combine it with K2 and I know it's more supplementation how annoying that is I get it but you want the best in terms of your bone health so I think I would recommend that uh, in any case that's basically it for this time around I'll talk to you guys soon take care bye